Rejoice, brothers and sisters. Today, in the third Sunday of Advent, the liturgy invites us to, to rejoice in the Lord. But there's only one way because to, be, to rejoice in this day. How can we rejoice ourselves among the pressure, the difficulties, this world, politics, economics? It's not easy, but there's only one way. It's through the theological virtues. What do we see with John the Baptist? When he was in prison, he asks, he doubts. And he sends someone to ask the Lord, is it you that we are waiting for or is another one who is to come? Jesus didn't answer his question as we might believe. He said, tell him that the blind regain the, 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 their sight and the deaf are raising. In other words, the, the promises are fulfilled. We shouldn't forget that John the Baptist is above all a prophet. So he knew the promises. And not only knew what the promise is, but he believed and he rejoiced in that day. And that's why when he heard that, that answer, he could rejoice, he believed. And those, that answer strengthened his faith and his hope and his charity as well. What do we find in John the Baptist? Doubt? He were doubting. No. What we find in him is faith. Faith strengthened. Strengthened faith. That led him to persevere until giving his life. And if we take a lemon and we cut it off and we squeeze it what do we get a lemon juice yes but what do we get just something acidic and we cannot pretend to get anything different because that what that lemon has inside And I ask myself, and we should ask ourselves, what do I have in myself? When I'm under pressure, when I'm muddy or moody, when I'm moody, under pressure, worried, in difficulties, stressed, what do people get from me? What I have inside. What do we find in John the Baptist? Faith, charity, hope. So <clears throat> maybe from, from this, we can get some, some very practical things to learn. The first one is we cannot pretend to give something that we don't have. If we want to rejoice in the Lord, we have to get and to strengthen those theological virtues. Because when we have faith, that faith, that feeds the hope and charity. And charity feeds faith and hope. Each theolo theological virtue strengthens and feeds the other too. And if we want to rejoice, if we want to live the mystery in our life, and if we want to fulfill our mission 
as sons and daughters of God, we have to live by faith. We have to feed every day ourselves from faith. Not rationality, which is easier. Not justice, human justice, and that, and that only that. But fr from of faith, charity, and hope. And one day we will give the same result, the same outcome that John the Baptist had. I believe, and I'm able to give my life. So today, I invite you and to all of us to rejoice in the Lord. That is impossible without faith. And it's impossible to love without faith. During this Advent, I hope we can prepare to live that mystery every day, every moment, men and women of faith. In the above all, in the moments of difficulties, when I'm hurt, when I'm misunderstood, be a man of faith. 